Welcome back, Pokemon trainers. Professor Chaz here, the lab coat's on back order, and sorry for leaving you off on a cliffhanger last time. This, of course, is meant for people that are watching this post-stream, because those who are here for the member stream, they're not waiting any time at all. They're here for the whole stream series right now. Four episodes, this is only the second episode. Anyway, all that aside, last time here in Pokemon Shield, we left off on, uh, I think, our third battle here in Rose Tower. And I'm assuming there's going to be two more after this until we get to the top. Because they said right now we're at the midway point up this elevator. So if you're excited for today's episode of Pokemon Shield and what happens within it, hit that like button down below. If you want to see what's brought us to this point so far, check the link in the description to the full Pokemon Shield playlist. You can also follow along for future episodes by joining the channel or subscribing and hitting that bell button for notifications for future streams. Okay, so let's do a team recap, mid-fight, might as well. Uh, so we got Mando leading the pack right now. Hop did just heal us, which was nice. She is our level 57 Galarian Slow King, holding on to the leftovers for HP recoveries. She has a Lonely Nature, Eerie Spell, Hex, Yawn, and Slack Off for the combo moveset, and Own Tempo is the ability preventing confusion, and as we just saw last episode, Intimidates. Next, we have our uh, Gigantamaxable Copperaja Varuta at level 62. She is holding that metal coat for her steel type power ups. She's got a lax nature. Uh, the moves are Iron Head, Bulldoze, Rock Slide, and Iron Defense. And those first three moves get a nice attack boost from the Sheer Force ability by negating their secondary effects. Finally, our only other active member right now is Slick, our starting Pokemon, Drizzile, at level 62, holding the Mystic Water with a lax nature, sorry, sassy nature. Your water Pulse, Swift, U-Turn, and Tearful Look, and the ability is Torrent. All that being said, we're kind of over-leveled still for this part of the game, so I'm not too worried at all. I'm going to go for, no matter who I go for, Hop is going to attack them as well, because Hop is dumb. I'm going to yawn them all while. Let's see who he body slams. Okay. You wasted my turn, Hop. But, at least you got the paralysis. That might pose a problem. It's not the best. So if you could paralyze that for me, please, I would appreciate that. I'm going to go for Hex on the Mawile. Hopefully getting the KO. Gear Grind. That's not terrible, but I would love it, Hop, if you would Body Slam that thing and paralyze it, please. That was a critical hit. Which means we should survive next turn without... Ooh, okay, you actually hit it. Not for paralysis, but... Um, I'm wondering, do I switch out? Because right now, Clang is the fastest thing on the field. But, with our leftovers and slack off, Mando could hang in there. But then she's going to need a turn to get the yawn off, so I feel like let's switch. Let's go into Varuta. Resisting steel. Of course, so would our Drizile, but I think Varuta's got the better defenses. Plus, we've got... I went over the team recap right now. Do we have Bulldoze? And Varuta just dodges that move. Nice. Why are you not body slamming now? I know that's super effective, so why didn't you reversal to begin with? I do have Bulldoze. I'm sorry, Dubwool, you're taking this hit. I mean, you're taking that hit, so you're... Oh, you're still in! You're gonna survive! Good job, Dubwool. Oh, wait. I'm about to bulldoze you. Oh, wait! You might actually get the knockout. No. Oh, you tried so hard. Get off my field. Imagine if you can con uh, constrict your... Or restrict your teammates to uh, Nuzlocke as well. And then he just loses his double permanently. Slick hitting level 53, Mando hitting level 58. Nice. One thing isn't nice about that, though. I'll show you in a second. Nobody, nobody can beat MC Insurance when it comes to our dedication to our work. The building's over 500 feet tall. As tall as around 100 Machoke standing on top of each other. Why specifically Machoke? I mean, I guess they are feet tall. This is what I don't like. Don't evolve. I want you to stay as you are. Thank you. Are you guys allowed in Violet, I wonder? Of 
quite terrified of heights, actually. Uh, fortunately, your insurance doesn't pay out for being defeated Pokemon battles. Get out. Get out. Alright, let's go up to floor, or foot 750. Get uh, foot soldiered again. I made a reference to the last episode, this being like a foot soldier elevator in the Technodrome from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on the Super Nintendo. <sighs> You're nearly to the top, but you'll not be meeting the chairman. I've got no fear of heights. I work high in the skies doing my job for the lofty macro cosmos air. All right, let's go. Now, I'm going to ask a question of the day. I forgot last time, but you at least saw it on the layout. Question of the day. For no particular recent reason or anything of the sort, I was curious. Wait a second. That's a ground type. But I was curious. Who is your favorite superhero actor... And which character do they play? Now, you could draw from any number of superhero movies. Uh, recent, distant past, probably not the future because we don't know yet what, who some of them are. But just let me know, who's your favorite actor and which character and why? Just I'm, I'm just curious, let's just say. Okay, I'm going to actually switch to Slick because he did just level up. Um, I, I honestly, I think I would say my favorite is, well, I've got a few. I'm, I'm more of a Marvel guy than anything else when it comes to comic book movies, superhero movies. But I really like Elizabeth Olsen as Scarlet Witch. Because, like, seeing everything that Scarlet Witch has, well, okay, let's use the actual official name, Wanda Maximoff, up until the WandaVision series. Because apparently Marvel Studios didn't have the rights to use the name Scarlet Witch until they bought, I think, was it Fox or... I don't know. Or until Disney bought... I don't know whatever happened there. I'm gonna Water Pulse for Um uh, But yeah, like... She acts that character very well with all the different stages of grief that she's gone through and like the action, of course, and everything. And uh, <clears throat> she's cute. But I really liked when she shows up in Endgame after being snapped away for five years, after having killed her own husband, Vision, after, no, before uh, Thanos then brought him back to life with the Time Stone and then took the stone out of his head. Man, she's been through a lot of stuff. Now, I loved, like, honestly, when they, I'm sure everyone who watches superhero movies knows of the big portal scene from Endgame where all the Snap characters have come back and they're all coming through the portals and stuff. And honestly, like, I didn't clearly remember every single person who had been snapped. Nobody can beat Macro Cosmos Air when it comes to our dedication to our work. You ever get that floaty feeling when a lift is going up? I do! It's like a roller coaster. And then when it shows her come down with her, you know, her, uh, I guess, chaos magic come down, I'm like, I forgot! Okay, she's back! Yes! And then when she lands in front of Thanos, just her delivery of, like, a shaky-sounding voice. You know, you took everything from me. And then his response of, I don't even know who you are. <laughs> and she's like, you will. And I'm like, yeah, he will. Don't you presume to meet the chairman? You're not on the same level as such a great man. You must know that in high rises such as this one, the higher up you go, the more important the people you find working there. Chairman Rose is at the top. Not just of this tower, but of all Galar. Way to butter him up. He's not even here, man. We do heal. Yay. Looks as though we're nearly there, mate. Look sharp. Let's do this. But, and then the heartbreak of, like, when it shows in WandaVision, her flashbacks, when she finally remembers how the, uh, the, uh, the hex was first made, like, when she drops, because she has that deed from Vision with, like, the heart saying to grow old in, and she just collapses, and I'm like, ow! She portrays the character really well. What's up, Hop? Chaz, stay on guard. Is she going to transform into, like, a Lusamine merged with a Metroid? Welcome to Chairman Rose's exclusive space. Here, nearly a thousand feet above the Earth. So, you got through all that special staff that I had ordered to stop you. Well, I am overleveled. I would expect nothing less of the trainers handpicked by Champion Leon himself. You can't be an opponent. Get out of here. But I'm afraid it is now time for you to go home. Why'd you even give us the key then? Because... 
I will not allow anyone to disturb the great Chairman Rose. You got scary face. Get it out of here. You shall be the first, Chaz. If I beat you to pieces. I've never heard that particular... I feel like Frieza from Dragon Ball Z Abridged, like, counting all the times you've heard certain phrases. I'm like, okay, that's a new one. Then the champion will have no one to battle and will thus lose heart. In that state, he will listen to anything the chairman says. It's a pretty, uh... Your plan is almost as flimsy as the polygons of your earring clipping through your collar right now, ma'am. Yeah, she needs to smile. No, that's not that's not how you smile. You have to go up at the corners. Alright, anyway. Macrocosmos is Oleana, sends out Frostless. Hey, ghost type A. You know what this calls for? A ghost type attack. We are weak to ghost, however. Oh wait, we can Bigamax here. I forgot. Decent level mm, we're still over level, but I mean decent level for now. That's hex. But these things are fast. Oh you little. Get the hex out of here. My, how cheeky to do such a thing as to hurt my partner. You've got uh, five partners, ma'am. They're all game, basically. All fair play. What the hex? You have hex? <gasps> Mando, you can't faint anymore. Oh, that was a critical. Okay, we're good. Take it out. Don't miss. Yeah! <laughs> so much for double team. <laughs> You know, if you were a battle or battle tower trainer, that would have worked, honestly. All right, can Mando solo Oleana? Sol can she solo Oleon? No, Solion, Soliano, Milotic. Okay, now I believe Milotic can get an ability that says while it is status, its defenses go up or something like that. I'm still gonna go for Yawn. You punk! Well, we have Eerie Spell. That is decent power, I believe. You know what? I haven't checked the power rating of that lately. Let me check it right now. Uh, 80. Yeah, that's decent. Ooh. Oh, no. They're going to heal every turn. Ooh. <laughs> I'm doing the same thing. I've got leftovers. Like, Ooh, what a baby. You're going to heal every turn. Oh, come on now. We should do more than that. Yeah, we don't have anything super effective against you on our our meager th uh, three Pokemon team here. I'll just keep your spelling you. Pretty sure we do have ethers and such. However, I'm gonna switch out because I don't want to be taking this kind of damage. That's not bad. That's not bad. Um. I'm not switching yet. We're still in the green. I'm gonna go ahead and go on ahead and go with slack off. Okay, this is the whole episode, just so you know. The remainder of this episode will be fighting Milotic. If we're both gonna be doing healing, of course. Hmm. Well, you wouldn't have anything good against our Faruta. I want to give Mando as much time as possible to try and take this down. Let's just go for a Hex as is. It's only 65 power, but criticals can happen. And we're pretty defensive against this, being 7 levels above this thing. Mm, that's not a lot of damage, though. This is going to be a battle of the heels, as Sailor Pika says in the chat right now. I completely agree. If we can get you down to close to yellow, and then... Well, okay, safeguard is down. Would you go for it again? You would, okay. Just That's fair, you know, understandable. So, yeah, we're both healing from leftover slash aqua ring, and we're both healing from slack off slash recover. This will take a while. <sighs> but if Mando stays in, more experience does go to her. So you're going to go for Surf, I think. Let's go Eerie Spell and take the PP down. Surf, I think, only has 15 total. And you've used, I think, three? 
think this takes down takes you down to six ish. I'm expecting a recover to happen right now. So I'm gonna go for hex. I'm trying to get in the computer's mind here. You might not recover right now. I'll try eerie spell again. Okay. Be tough, Mando. You can do it. If we can drain all the serps out, that'd be awesome. Eerie spell's a pretty interesting move. I didn't know what to think of it at first, but lowering the opponent's PP is pretty decent. Now, again, presumably recover is happening now, so let's just go with the hex. Ooh, surfing it up. Hmm, that kind of throws a little monkey wrench my way. I should have slacked off, but I can slack off this turn, though. That being said, though, will they attack or try for the uh, recover? Either way, I gotta heal so that Mando's in a better position for when the next Pokemon comes in. Sailor Peak, oh my goodness, folks, if you are not here for the live stream, you have missed it. I feel like I should screenshot this. Sailor Pika just cheered on Mando, saying, go Mando, go. We've witnessed history in the making. Suddenly, it seems like Mando's fate may not be to faint all the time. Hmm. I am tempting fate so badly. I fully understand that. We have seen Mando does have a, uh, a history with fainting. There's the recover. So me acting all confident about how she's going to make it. She's going to handle this. I know. I'm just... I'm just calling for disaster. So you didn't go for... Uh, safeguard this time. I think you are going to now, though. So I'm not going to bother going for Yawn. Let's go straight up Hex again. Nope, going to recover. Well, we are going to run out of PP eventually. And I'm okay with that. If you want me to run out of PP and have to go into someone even higher level, I will do that, Milotic. I have no problem with that. So your moves that we've seen recover, safeguard, surf, and that's... Oh, Aqua Ring. So yeah, we don't really have anything to worry about. The only offensive move they have is water. So let's just save time and PP. Let's go into our water type right now. Makes sense to me. Now, of course, Slick doesn't have the leftovers recovery, but uh, at least we can do some damage. Maybe. I don't know. How offensive is our swift attack? Plus, worst case scenario, I can then go into my U-turn and switch out into uh, Baruta. Now, tier for look, does that lower both the opponent's attack stats? Come on! Come on, Milotic! Why you gotta be like this? I'm gonna try the uh, tearful look. Actually, I can check right now. It lowers both offenses, so let's do that. Because I feel like I feel like switching into Varuda at this point is the play. But I want to lower the surf attack a little bit before. Oh, come on! Forgot they have competitive. No! Oh man! Okay, I made a bad play by lowering two of their stats, we now gave Milotic a plus three total special attack boost. It's not great, <laughs> by any means. Are you out of surfs? We might have actually stalled out the surfs. I should have stalled out the, uh, the recovers, basically. This thing is going to drain all of our PP! Or is it just not going for Surf because our water type is in? See, if I switch out... Well, hang on. If I use U-Turn... Uh, no, let's wait. I know Varuda is like at a much higher level, but I'm worried that they're trying to fake me out. And they still have Surf's left, and they can do some good damage to our... You know, pure steel type, we don't have any water resistance on Varuda. So, let's presume they're gonna mess up and go for something other than Surf. Let's U-turn right now. Get on out of here. So, 
So Naruto will be the play. Bulldoze or Rock Slide? I think Rock Slide is more powerful. Hey. I could use this time to get the iron defenses up too. Let me just check what has more power. 60 for Bulldoze, 75 for Rock Slide. I'm gonna throw up an iron defense. They don't have Surf's left. Okay, we did manage to Eerie Impulse those out. Or is it Eerie Spell? Eerie Impulse is the electric move. If I'm right, it turns all the opponent's moves into electric type or something. You know what I just realized? If that's what that does, in a double battle with a Pokemon with Lightning Rod, Eerie Impulse would be... Uh, Lightning Rod would draw in the Eerie Impulse as well. But I think if you had something else out first, used Eerie Impulse on both opponents, and then sent in your Lightning Rod Pokemon, wouldn't that make your whole side safe? I'm thinking maybe. I should try that. I might be completely wrong on what Eerie Impulse does. So I'll have to look into it. I'm pretty sure there's a move that makes all the... Ooh! Nice! That makes all the opponent's moves become Electric-type. Alright, finally! Milotic is down and out. What else we got? We got Salazzle. Ooh, Fire-type? Mm. Mm. Ah. Hmm. I believe in you, Varuda. Heart of the cards! Oh, we got this. Not even half damage. Get out of here, Salazzle. Bam, bam, boom. <clears throat> Excuse me. I said I can't heal in battle in this playthrough too, didn't I? Starina. Okay. Well, obviously, we can still stay in here. Although, I may want Bogruda's HP to remain where it's at. Because I'm assuming Oleon is going to have a Bigamax, you know, uh, Dynamax Pokemon. I would like to keep our Gigantamax Pokemon at decent HP. Oh no, my physical attack has dropped. I like Serena. I have one of them on my uh, Pokemon Moon team. Soon, she and the rest will be sending up to uh, Pokemon Shield. Which, I'm glad to see she can actually make it here to the Gala region, which is nifty neato. Let's yawn away. Acrobatix! Ooh, that hurts a bit. Stupid safeguard! Mando, Grogu. I believe in the both of you. Slack off, heal up. Yes. Do that again to get ourselves back to full. When's that safeguard going down? I mean, okay, if it goes down now, we could probably get a yawn. Ah, I should probably slack off again. The safeguard is down. I could also just go straight up for the eerie spell, but I want to get HP back more. Because if they're going to keep going for acrobatics, that does do a fair chunk to us. Alright. Heal up. Once again, we should be in a good position with our leftovers to go for the yawn now. How much more do we said? Now, after this should be her final Pokemon, which we might see uh, the Dynamax from. Serena grew drowsy. That's what we want to see. We'll go for another slack off while she prepares to fall asleep. What if there was, like, a Gigantamax Serena? What would that even look like? I can imagine, like, the hair kind of maybe swirling around it, like a, like a dress or something. Like a, a royal gown, because she's like a queen kind of thing, right? The crown on her head? Yeah, isn't her ability Queenly Majesty? Preventing priority moves? Alright, look at the size of her eyelashes, too. It's wild and crazy, but I think... Just for the hex of it, we should get her down here. I don't think the defense is great. Let's 
special defense, I should say. It's fairly adequate. Now we're gonna bank on her sleeping one more turn. Even if she wakes up, the Hex will st still do some damage. She stays asleep. Hex takes her out. And we're down to Oleana's final Pokemon. Wonder what it's going to be. All right, what you got for us? Level up for every... I thought so. The way their bars are going, I thought they're all going to level up at the same time. 64. 63. Leftovers. All right, final Pokemon. What you got, Oleana? Look, we're both doing the arms fold. This is my last Pokemon? Seriously? Oleana's got to finish this. You stole Hefty. Okay, I'm going to need some time to recover from this Pokemon theft. This identity theft. This is actually going to be the end of this episode. I'm sorry. Blame her. Put me in this state. I can't go on right now. I need to take a breather. So if you folks enjoyed today's episode, let me know by hitting that like button down below. If you want to see how we pay her back for this, this blatant robbery of my life, Make sure you subscribe to the channel or join as a member. Hit the bell button for notifications when the new videos are coming your way. And if you want to see what has led us to this point, follow the link in the description to the full playlist or during the outro as well. I can't even think straight. Pokemon Shield playlist is there for you to check out. <sighs> okay, I'm going to go for a little bit. Thank you folks for watching. Professor Chaz is signing off, and I'll catch you next time.